All right, folks. Well, we're, we are back. We're back at Camp Cutlet. And over the next week and a half, we are going to be planting all of our fall plots. So, what we are doing, we got Dean on the tractor. He's fertilizing everything. And I'm trying to actually get in front of him and spray a couple of our plots because we just got a little bit of weed growth coming up. So we figure if we spray it right now, let it sit for about an hour or so, bake in the sun, it'll kill everything. It's not going to all look dead right now, but it will kill everything. We can fertilize and turn it over the next day or two and get ready to plant next week. I'm really excited about a lot of these smaller plots that we're putting in because I feel like they're at all different ends of the farm. Some of them where we've never had plots before previous to this. So I feel like that's going to give us an opportunity to draw in different deer to hopefully draw in another shooter or two. We have, I think, Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six plots to put in over the next week and a half, planting all new Tecumani seed blends. Real excited to show you guys that as we progress further. But for now, come on with me. We're gonna go spray a couple fields. rain as we got over the past couple days how dry it is in here that's good as soon as that glyphosate touches the grass it's dead give it an hour on there it's dead so as long as it's dead even though it looks green still once we till it under less weeds should come up know like he's here we want him to take the least amount of steps out of his bed to be able to eat and I think if we get food in here we've got a good chance of seeing him having an encounter in the daylight All right, well, <laughs> as you can see, the deer just make their way into this field, do whatever they want. It's their world around here, we're just living in it. But I am going to probably break a part of this fence and get in here, spray these beans. Dean and I are gonna come back and try and repair this fence and and see how long it lasts, probably be the last time we repair it realistically until we pull it down, but at least keep some of the deer out. I don't even know if it's doing that at this point, but nonetheless, we're gonna spray this. Hopefully the beans will pop again. I mean, it, it's looking pretty good, um, but once we spray it, a lot of this, some of this green will dissipate, obviously, and we'll just top seed like a brassicas blend, some turnips in here, something. We'll, we're gonna broadcast something else in here so that there's beans and also uh, more, more of like a fall foliage. Some barb in there, that ain't good. <laughs> Tell me a fence. Dude, this side is just ridiculous.
well today was going way too smooth for a hiccup not to happen just got a seemed like a whole fence worth of barbed wire wrapped in the rototiller so we just spent about 45 minutes fishing that out and we're back up in business Alright folks, well fall plot number one is fully prepared, the fertilizer's in, we turned it in. This dirt is just, it's beautiful. This is in a little high spot, so we've had some rain, the soil's real moist right now, but it's, this is the, one of the drier plots that we have, and uh, it's just great soil, it's gonna grow outstanding. It looks outstanding. Perfect little spot, just over an acre. And we're gonna put some brassica blend, maybe some you know, chicory, some clovers, some more stuff too. It's gonna be a smorgasbord. 